Welcome YouTubers. Here we are again, getting ready to do another test. Right now I'm just gonna do a tire comparison of multiple different tires. Um, tires that are regularly used, some that are not popular, some that are popular, um, minus the KLR OT sixes. Um, I couldn't find any of those. So anyway, um, <clears throat> today I'm going to go over um, statistics, the the details of each tire as far as their compounds, their OD, and their width, and yada yada yada. So let's get cracking on this, shall we say. Um, some of the tires I've chosen are not something that you would expect and <clears throat> the tires I've chosen also have aggressive tread. I like aggressive tread tires. They make your vehicle look ridiculously mean and nasty, which I think a vehicle should. Um, some of these tires I have chosen are great for realism, for scale looks. So we're going to go through each one and figure out which one is a good fit for your vehicle. Um, so let's get to the tires. All right. So in this comparison, we are going to compare Twelve tires. Twelve different tires. This tire, for all you Ridge Rock people out there, is the stock Dante Ridge Rock tire. It's a 2.2 tire. <clears throat> it is 5.2 inches OD and is 1.2 inches width. Cost for four of these <clears throat> is 38 bucks. That's with the rim. <clears throat> and the weight of this tire is 148 grams with the rim. This tire is your RC four wheel drive mudslinger. Probably my favorite tire of all tires that's ever been made actually. It is a gnarly, aggressive tire, and it's, it's just beautiful. Anyway, aside from personal opinion, so uh, this is also a 2.2 tire. It is 4.88 OD and 1.93 width for four tires. It will cost you $55. And with the rims, um, because these are going to be weighted, uh, they are 299 grams. This is the Losi Rock Claw. This is a stock tire, actually, from Losi for their night crawlers. Um, this thing here is a 4.88 OD, is a 2.13 or a two and a quarter width. A set of these for all four tires is gonna cost you around 42 bucks. And the tire width, or the tire is 200, Oh, because of the rims. With the rims is 245 grams. So all these these three tires are 2.2s. Um, they all have different rims because these are just bonus type tires. You know, you can base the findings off of whatever it is that you have. <clears throat> 
And as you can see, I have taken and I've lined up all these tires as far as their size is concerned. There is a difference, but there's not a whole lot of difference, but you can see the difference in each tire from the largest to the smallest. Okay, so that takes care of these three. <clears throat> Next we have the Duratrax Showdown. This is a very soft and aggressive tire. Um, the Showdowns, they have the C3 compound. They are 4.6 inches in, a, in OD and 1.6 inch wide. It'll cost you about 50 bucks for all for a set of four of these and the tire with the foam is 110 grams. Oh, that's wrong. Sorry. The tire with the standard rim that I have chosen uh, is going to be 110 grams. Now the rim that I have chosen is only going to go on seven, I believe, of these tires. So this tire this tire, this tire, this tire, this tire, this tire, and this tire. All those are getting the control rim, shall we say. It's the same rim, no weights or anything like that. Um, these are the ones that I'm really trying to compare. Um, but some of the other ones I have in here Oh, I didn't add that tire, did I? Where is it? Oops. And this one. It is not the Hyrex. It is the knockoff of the Hyrex. Um, I chose this because it is a very, so far has been a very capable tire. And I figure if any of these can beat this tire, then they're going to be competition for the Hyrex. Because um, this is very close to the Hyrex, depending on what you are driving in and things of that sort. Um, but anyway, so, but then again, now this also has its own set of rims they're weighted these are not stock foams um, they are proline dual stage foams inside these um, but I still think that these tires in their stock form should be able to compare or beat these in my opinion due to the compound <clears throat> So let's continue with this. These are your Super Swampers, TSL, SX, XL Swamp. They are G8 compound. They are 4.75 OD and 1.75 width. <clears throat> I'm not going to go ahead and go with the rest of the costs and all that stuff. If you want to know that, you can message me and let me know. I just I need to move on with this. So... This are the new trenchers from ProLine. They are the G8 compound. They are 4.75 OD and 1.81 width. Duratrax Deep Woods 4.6 OD and 1.6 wide. These are the ProLine uh, Mud Terrain tires. They are 4.75 OD and 1.77 wide. These are the knockoffs of these. 
This is the knockoff of the Rock Beast. It is 4.64 OD and 1.8 wide. The Rock Beast is 4.45 OD and 1.6 wide. And this is the actual Rock Beast. And if you have a set of rock beasts and you have a set of these knockoffs there is clearly a difference but I added them to the mix because I want to see how they compare to the actual rock beast see what they do <clears throat> these are the boom racing hustlers look how aggressive that tread is man that's gnarly um, they are 4.4 4.45 OD and 1.5 inches wide. Super soft compound. And these, for all you Axial fans out there, are the Axial Rip Saws. This is their R35 compound. And they are 4.3 inches OD and 1.5 inches wide. So now, speaking of compounds, R35 compound, super soft compound. This is their, uh, this is the rock piece, this is the comp compound. The mud terrains are the predator compound. The Duratracks, uh, both Duratracks are the C3 compound. The trencher, and the Super Swamper are G8 compounds. <clears throat> Speaking of compounds, now we're going, I'm going to show you the differences in the compound. <clears throat> so let me go ahead and set this up. <clears throat> okay, so speaking of compounds, this is the Losi Rock Crawl, uh, Rock Claw, with its stock foam. All tires in this test are going to have their stock foams in them. It's very pliable, soft, but watch what it does when I crumple it. See how it took a while for it to come back out? This is a very grippy tire and this will pretty much grab anything that it comes in contact with. It will like rocks or anything. Uh, I really think this tire is going to perform well. Um, I actually think it's going to perform as well, if not better, than the uh, actually, I think it's going to perform better in the mud and in the dirt than the Hyrex knockoffs. And it's going to perform just as good on the rocks as the Hyrex. The Showdown. It's a C3 compound. should have done all this before I started this video. Again, a very soft compound, right? Now I also want to state that uh, before I conduct the actual test, all these tires will be scrubbed so there is no uh, film or protectant on the tires anymore. They'll be scrubbed and cleaned before they actually go out to be run so there's no well did you clean the tires that kind of stuff all right here we go actually this took longer than the rock claws did this is also going to be a very grippy um, 
good performer. It's not very realistic looking for scale, but this is going to be definitely a performer. <clears throat> The Proline Super Swampers with stock Super Swamper foams. Oh, no, 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 come here. This is the Predator Comp, I'm sorry, the G8 compound. This is going to be a good tire. Um, like I said, I chose tires that people are, or people use already that are popular. Um, but one of the things I see a lot in the face group groups, Facebook groups, is what tire do I get? What tire is the best tire out there? What tire is the best tire for all terrains? So this is just to help along with that. Now these are the trenchers with the stock Proline foams. This is also the G8 compound, but it's definitely a different tread pattern. And it's a very sticky tire. I believe that this tire right here is going to outperform even the actual Hyrex, but this is going to outperform the Hyrex knockoffs easily in all terrains. I think this tire is going to be um, probably my top performer, to be honest. Um, but we'll see about that because it does have very small. Uh, it looks like mud can get trapped in there really easy. But we'll see. And then the Proline Mud Terrain. Now, if you are a scale person, this is going to be a great tire for you if it performs well. That looks like a real tire. And this is the Predator Compound or the Blue Dot. And I can just tell you, just from grabbing the tire itself compared to this tire, you can feel a slight difference. This tire definitely is more flimsy and softer. This is going to be probably ridiculous watching it come undone from this. Wow, that was unexpected. Let's try that again. I was not expecting that. Okay. That popped up a lot easier than the other ones did. This is my first time doing that with these tires. So I'm I'm shocked actually. Uh Anyway, very realistic tire. I think this is going to perform well on the rocks. Oops. And on packed dirt I don't know how it's going to do in loose dirt or mud, though. It says it's a mud terrain tire, so we're going to find out. Pitbull Rock Beast. Uh... Yeah, I should have done this before. Stock foams. This is their comp, comp compound. Um, I have used these quite a bit. I love these tires. For your scaleness, that is definitely a scale looking tire. Um, let's see. Well, it doesn't want to come undone. Look at that. Look how that thing just 
stays in that form. This is going to be a great performer. It is a great performer. That's why I chose them. Now I will not be doing this little comparison uh, with the knockoff rock piece because I would have to take them off the rims and oh wait I think I have one off the rim hold on I do <laughs> Here's the knockoff rock beast. The knockoff rock beast is actually a little bit taller. Not much, but just a little bit taller. And it looks more narrow, probably because they're not in a set of rims. If they were in rims, it'd be different. Maybe, but they look just like them but the compound is nothing like them at all I would consider these a medium compound which means they're they're kind of stiff and I know for a fact that these do not perform as well as the rock beast because as you can see they're dirty too uh, I use these on my garbage truck for a little while. Anyway, here we go. So, <laughs> it just pops right back up. So, I don't, I don't foresee this doing very well. Um, this will do decent in the mud. This will do pretty decent on hard dirt I really don't know what it'll do in the loose and on the rocks it might do it'll do okay but we shall see <clears throat> the boom racing hustler look at that another scale or realistic looking tire definitely realistic looking um, huge lugs this thing here looks nasty feels pretty good um, comes with dual stage foams like the rock beast does um, Definitely a pain to get out. This is what they look like. And this is the tire. Seems pretty flimsy. This just bounces right back also so it may be a soft compound but it has no sticky to it like like the predator or the rock beast or the rock claw they, they've got a, a sticky to them these feel sticky on the outside but when you collapse them they just pop right back so they're not as sticky as they may seem I think these are going to do well on the rocks and I think they are going to do well in the hard dirt. I don't know how they're going to do in the loose dirt and they will probably do well in the mud, um, but we're going to find out. And last but not least, the R35 axial rip saws. Now, I bought these, see I already had a set of these, um, of course from my stock 
axial. Um, but I was like, stock tires are always different from aftermarket tires. So I thought maybe axial's compound, uh, their R35 compound, was different from their stock tires. That's what I was thinking. So I purchased them. So this is going to be a first for me also. These rip saws have a nice grippy feel to them. Stock foams. <clears throat> Definitely softer than the Boom Racing tires. Um, they can form Huh. Not too bad. I really think that these are going to perform well in all terrain. These rip saws are a very aggressive tire. Not very scale, but very aggressive. Uh, I'm very excited to see what these are going to do. So now that you've seen all the compounds, you've seen, uh, I've given you all the dimensions and things, I'm going to give you the control vehicle, shall we say. Um, it's going to be a Red Cat Gen 8 running a 2400 kV uh, censored motor and a Castle Mamba Pro ESC uh, stock pinion. This tire, this tire, this tire, this tire, this tire, this tire, and this tire are all going to be using the same exact same unweighted rim. The rims are sealed, the tires will be sealed, um, and that way there is pretty much, it's very scientific. There's no, well that rim's not the same, or that tire is vented and the other one isn't. Uh, to be honest with you, Vented tires are not a whole lot different from tires that are sealed. Tires that are sealed are just sealed for water use. Uh, they do maintain a little bit of air pressure in the tire, which is what I like, um, to be honest with you. But it's not a significant amount that will uh, change anything, shall we say. All right, so that's it for this portion and I hope you're as excited about this as I am because I am very excited about this test. So I will catch you again on another day and hope you all have a great day. And if you are new to the hobby, welcome to the family. Have a great day.